Uh, hey, <laughs> th- welcome, welcome back to the show. Your guys are all here. Yeah, uh, hey, guys. What's up? Hey, brother. Brother. It's closer to What's that. What's happening? Um, the kids, like, la- it was a year ago or so, wasn't yeah. it? Exactly a, a year ago? Like a year and a half. Was that how long ago it was? Yeah. And you guys popped into the studio here, and it was the first time uh, that your band had reunited in, geez, yeah. I don't know, how many years? hundred years. That yeah, seemed like a hundred years. One hundred and twenty. <laughs> <laughs> and so apparently... It was a tremendous success. It was really good. And and, and you guys are going to do it again. We yeah. rock. We're going to do it this uh, next Friday and Saturday. Next Friday and Saturday, yeah. Club Cinema in, yep. uh, in, yep. in Pompano Beach. Yes, sir. And, Johnny, you must have had a hell of a time doing it for you. I know we know how crazy busy you are and the rest of you guys flying all over the world to put this thing together. Oh, it's been, it was beautiful. I mean, the experience was beautiful. It was really, I mean, just, uh, just like going back to some the most comfortable uh, feeling in your in your in your life, I mean, it's like, you know, it's sort of our high school reunion in a way. Yep. Yes, yeah, well, that's very cool. Since we didn't go to high school, Honestly, see, I, don't, <laughs> any, uh, uh, I don't want to go back to the '80s because there's just just there's just too much blow involved. Uh, and, yeah. <laughs> but, but this was the '80s rock scene, and I mean, so we were just talking to a guy on the phone a few minutes ago talking about some of the you know the candy store and uh, the clubs oh, yeah. are all gone, the bands are all gone, with the exception of you guys. It sounds like. Well, no, we got a bunch of bands right there that are yeah, they're all playing. getting back together. Getting back oh, is that together. right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Same bands that played last year, including a couple more. Yeah. Did you get the Romantics to come back, you guys? Yeah, yeah, they're, they're coming. coming. This yeah. time, this time they're playing with their full band. Last last time they just kind of jammed with us. So this time they're all. Yeah, my coming. wife went and had an absolute riot, and she oh, yeah. she was blown away. Some of the pictures, and it was just a really neat moment for a lot of people in South Florida. And now you've got a two night gig. Yep. Yes, sir. Two nights this time. Yeah. Uh, with, uh, Bruce. Yes, sir. Did you not? Is it? I read this online. Did mm-hmm. you train Johnny to help, or at least give him coaching to sing? Because uh, Johnny, when you were in the kids <coughs> back in the day, I don't think you sang much with the band, did you? I I never sang before in my life. I mean, I sing backup vocal, but you could yeah. you could hide behind you know the real singers then. <laughs> but no, I, the first time I ever sang was in Bruce's studio. Yeah, and back. then all of a sudden you're in Sweeney Todd, and you're like an amazing singer. <laughs> I'm not so sure about that. <laughs> <laughs> all right, I'm trying to be nice here. Well, you were great. No, it was a really good, good experience. And, and, and well, I mean, I guess everybody, if you're an actor, you probably have a little bit of everything, and you, you, you want to try anything. Isn't that, is that how you said, all right, I'll try to sing? Well, I mean, the, you know, it's, it's, uh, it's important to, to challenge yourself in, in any situation in life. I mean, you know, to, you know, to, to, to grow, to learn, to get stronger. So, yeah, that's, you know, the real challenge was, um, if, if I can hit a note, can I hold a note, you know? Yeah. Was we, any, was we had a bit of wine to help us. Too. Oh, good. All right. It relaxes <laughs> the vocal the cords. Was there any moments that all any of you guys, like after all those years of not playing together, was there that nervous jitter? I mean, you know, Johnny, you play in front of millions of people all the time. You guys have been in rock bands for years. Right, yeah. Was there any of that nervous energy backstage before you went out for that first time? A little bit, maybe. I mean, we we had shown a, a video clip of my mom, like a... a like a memorial clip. So we is were your mom covered. Sheila Wicked? Yes. Okay, because yes. uh, a lot of yeah. people probably don't know that connection and why her let's, name is let's talk about her is yeah. just prominently featured there on all your uh... yeah yeah Johnny. Why, why is that so important to all you guys and, and and you know coming back to do this reunion for your mom and what was going on in the eighties? Did she she run the whole show? Oh, she was she was uh, yeah she was she was the the sort of uh, uh, mover and shaker behind all the bands from which from what year Bruce seventy something yeah early seventies oh, early seventies she started and then there was some uh, you know people afterwards that took over but I mean you know she just started a scene early just like a on. pioneer of the yeah, local rock scene absolutely and you know she kind of became all these guys mom Joe Joe would attest like a house mother yeah, yeah. and so, oh yeah she was definitely our our mom no yeah. question. Wow. And, and, and Bino, of course, uh, now you're living in Thailand. And, how did, and, uh, how did you hear that? Uh, and, and the rumor has it that really? you shared an apartment with Gary Glitter. That is not <laughs> <true>. <laughs> I don't know what was going on. How we did that get out? Trying yeah. to get to the bottom yeah. of this one. They wouldn't let that bastard in the country. Did you see that story? Yeah. They well, made him sit at the airport. Now, now I have to pay the whole rent. <laughs> oh, that's classic. Joe that told them all about Gary Glitter. They, he, he let the word out. Oh, my God. Um, so as far as tickets Sorry. for the for tickets for the show uh, and the cost and the money, mm. the proceeds are going it's to all the... going to charity. It's going to my mom's foundation, the Sheila Wicken Foundation, and the Dan Marino Foundation. Oh, very oh, nice, nice yeah. choice there. You know, speaking of charity, I read the other day that uh, Johnny, you were donating your money to Heath Ledger's little girl, something uh, about a new movie or something. Oh, um, well, uh, once uh, you know uh, the unfortunate passing of Heath uh, was such a, I mean, utter devastation, obviously to his family. And uh, family and friends, but also he's you know he was in the middle of uh, that film Doctor Parnassus with Terry Gilliam, and Gilliam was kind of stuck. So 
we got together three the three actors uh, other two other actors Colin uh, Farrell and Jude Law myself went in and finished up the role basically for Heath right. three guys and, doing a role that's pretty yeah. cool yeah yeah it's very strange and then and then uh, uh, since I know you know basically all we said was just give Heath it's Heath's money and it should go to Matilda so. right, she, right. he I Thank guess he you. hadn't Righteous. updated his uh, his will and testament and then right. left his daughter out. Uh, because I guess he made the will before she was born. Well, that's the thing. I mean, the, you know, the press really ran, uh, they tried to run far with that and then hit a brick wall because they realized suddenly he'd written the will four or five years prior before, to right. sure. Michelle or Matilda. So, oh, well, he's a young man. You don't think about wills when you're that age. No, exactly. Oh, that sucks. Yeah. Holy crap. Well, really that breaks does. your heart. But that was a very nice thing you guys did. And what else are you going to do? You got to do that, <laughs> you know. Well, you gotta have to do that. To, hey, yeah. you know, growing up here in South Florida, and all of us did uh, in the eighties. I was here, Johnny. You know, you've lived all over the world, and you know, living abroad. But is there South Florida really never leaves you? And at least it doesn't for me. And, I, and I've lived in other places. When I, when I come back, I always feel like I'm coming home. Can you? Do you ever get to sneak back into town and uh, without and just kind of relax in South Florida, or is it just impossible for you? Uh, every now and again, but I mean, basically, the last time I was there was when a year and a half ago when we did the um, oh. the last reunion. Yeah. Um, oh, I've right? been working pretty steady ever since. Yeah, I bet you have. Well, that's a nice excuse to come back, though. I'm really looking forward to it. I think we're going to have a good time, and I think uh, it's, uh, it's exciting to see see all those bands again, all our old friends, and uh, and uh, put this together. For, I think Bruce and, and, the, and the guys put this together beautifully for. Uh, for Sheila's Foundation, for Dan Marino's Foundation. And didn't you guys also... <laughs> this time, two nights, and it's, it's going to yeah, be two great. Two nights is great, yeah. Because yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. if you screw up on a song on the first night, you get to do it again. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> what happened last year is after the first show, we're like, God, it's we over. do this that again? Was it? it was like, so that's why we decided to do it two nights. Oh, okay. So you, it's not like a tour around the country <laughs> that you guys are going to put together. It's just, yeah. you're lucky to catch it now, right? I mean, also, last year, there was a film made, a documentary made, called about, another, right. another Night at the Agora. So is it concert footage? Is it's it backstage great, stuff, it's interviews? A, it's kind of an amazing documentary when you can sit back and watch it now with perspective for me. Mm. You know, I'd Diane, love to see that. Yeah, Diane did a great job. Really and did you guys ever have anything close to being a big national hit song back in the 70s or 80s? No. Any I mean, of these bands? If you watch the documentary, you'll see why. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. oh, what does that mean? No, yeah, I watched the movie. It's just <laughs> the movie's about you know how we have kind of feel that this, this scene was ignored. Or not discovered. The Florida, South Florida rock so, scene. Yeah, back then. Yeah, if was... you weren't in Los Angeles or New York at this time, they were just exactly. not paying attention. Yeah, who, 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 let's think about it. Who came, who or came playing disco. The Sunshine Band was what yeah, it was. Well, that's what I'm saying, playing disco. disco. Yeah, and absolutely. then Gloria Stefan and all that stuff. Mm -hmm. yeah, exactly. It's in the movie. <laughs> hey, Johnny, um, listener called in earlier and said you have to ask him, are, are you, uh, rumors on the Internet about you doing the Riddler? Oh, yeah, I heard about that. I, I mean, not that I know of. <laughs> oh, be, you'd be a good choice. I hear you're going to be... It seemed like it'd be a fun, be a fun gig for a while, yeah. I think it'd be great. Uh, I hear you're going to be John Dillinger and uh, Salvador Dali, and, and you get a bunch of things. <laughs> Do in the like same movie? Yeah. In the same movie? John same Dillinger movie. is Salvador Dali. <laughs> in the same movie. <laughs> Any of that true? I, I played Dillinger, yeah. I did, I did a film about John Dillinger uh, last few months you remember what they said about that guy, don't you? No. They got his penis on display at the Smithsonian or something. I don't know if it's true or not. But <laughs> apparently he was the best hung uh, crook of all time. Is that, in the, is that a part of the film, Johnny? <laughs> you got to watch the movie. <laughs> <laughs> all right. You guys. Uh, th I think you'd be a great Salvador Dali, too, for that matter. Well, I, um, I don't know. Maybe. Maybe. Yeah, the older Dali. <laughs> well, you know, with that crazy mustache, you know they got a Salvador Dali museum on the west coast of Florida. Yeah, over Tampa. So for your, for when you do your research for the role, fly on in there. There you go. <laughs> oh, is it on the west coast? Yeah, we're in yeah. It's Tampa, right, Ron? Sure it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. very, very. Ebor cool. City. Weird. Uh, just so we know, Johnny, what type of wine should we be ordering today? <laughs> oh man, well, I tell you what, uh, 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 there's any number. Uh, uh, you know what? I'll tell you. I'll bring some with me. I'll, I'll send some over to you guys. Oh, that would be uh, too good. I'd love to try. Uh, uh, you know, jo Johnny, is it wine thirty by you? <laughs> it's wine thirty. Perfect. perfect. Wine oh, what is it like? Six hours ahead? Yeah. Something like that. Yeah. Oh, that's perfect. There's probably not a better place to live than than France, huh? I mean, it's a good. You know, it's a good one. But you got to have a balance. You know, what I mean, you're um, we're we're kind of all over the place. We we uh, we live on the road, as it were. You know, with. Uh, with, you know, oh, I guess you got to go to California all the time and whatnot, right? Yeah. And then there's Iowa. <laughs> <laughs> Where there's no one. All right, Johnny Depp, take care, buddy. See you next weekend. Yeah, man. See you then. Thanks. Right, Love so you, bro. Thanks, guys.